Hi Jushis and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial for my Stray Kids concert makeup look. So this is a highly, 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 highly requested tutorial that you guys all wanted to see. So I went to Stray Kids concert recently in LA. I think it was last week, I'm not quite sure, but concert was so fun and my makeup was fire. So I will do a makeup tutorial and also hair tutorial. Some of you guys wanted to see how I do the wet hair look, so I will do that. Let's start. So as usual, I'm going to start with the skin prepping and this is the toner that I will be using. So for today's skin prepping, I will be using all products from B Green. I've been loving all V Green products because they are ethical brand that does not conduct animal testing and they don't use any animal ingredients. So this product that I just use is a mucin essence toner which uses mucin from wild yam extract. So it helps in restoring tire skin and also it improves skin vitality too. Next, I'm going to use a tea tree serum. So all their products work for all types of skin, but this one I feel like it's perfect for people with sensitive skin because it helps calm the sensitive skin and helps with trouble care. I just love the light watery texture, so you guys can see that it's almost like water. But yet, it's really moisturizing when you apply it on your skin. If you have any skin trouble or acne, then this is going to be perfect for you. And lastly, we're going to use the Tea Tree Gel Cream. This is a perfect gel texture that you should use for any skin prepping. We already talked about this before, but do not use really heavy cream for skin prepping because it's going to give you a really greasy finish. We want gel type that's going to give you a really light and non-greasy finish. So just like the other tea tree serum, this is perfect for people with sensitive skin because it helps calm that trouble areas. And it's also going to lock in that moisture and give you a perfect glowy finish but doesn't feel anything heavy, not sticky at all. Let's first start with foundation. This is the baby that I'll be using. So this foundation specifically gives you more of a matte finish but it's not a very heavy texture that's why I've been using a lot. Today's look is inspired by Felix. A lot of you guys actually thought it was inspired by Hyunjin but no. No, it's Felix. I usually like to do Felix inspired makeup because I just love how colorful his makeup is and the makeup artists really experiment a lot of different things on Felix, putting rhinestone pieces and trying like different color mascara. The thing is he pulls up everything. Kudos to him. Next, we're going to put on contacts. I'm really sad because I didn't have the exact same lenses that I wore on the day of the concert. So that one was smoky gray. Unfortunately, I only have the olive color. This is it. But guys, oh my god, I have to obviously tell you guys verbally what my Stray Kids concert experience was because it was like freaking insane. My bias before going to the concert was Felix. But coming out, my bias changed to think Hyunjin. Felix is still good, but maybe he moved to my bias record. Let's apply some concealer now. I have another bias record coming out of the concert. So other than Felix, I freaking fell in love with Lino. That man. You know like when you see the idols like on the big screen in the concert? There are moments when you just gasp and you just wonder of their existence. Are you real? Or am I just hallucinating? Because you look so fine. Like you are such a fine human being. Ah! That was my impression with Lino. And I think they're just idols that hit different when you see them in real life. I remember when I went to Seventeen concert, June was like that. Like, oh my god. June's so fine, guys. Like, you guys really need to see him in real life to really understand what I'm saying. Okay, and for eyeshadow, I'm going to use this Nova Beauty palette. You can see that all the shades are like perfect for smoky eye makeup, which is the reason why I use this for this particular look. For the base shade, we're going to mix in this shade and this shade over here. I actually started listening to Stray Kids because of Hyunjin. I watched the Psycho fan cam and it was game over for me guys, like complete game over because that was the first time 
I saw idol with long hair who actually looked really good. Like Jonghan with long hair, he is like the OG with long hair, but I think there is something different with Hyunjin's long hair. Jonghan looks pure with long hair, but Hyunjin just looks like a freaking vampire. And I'm all about that look. And that's why I fell in love with that whole like vampire vibe of Hyunjin. And I started listening to Stray Kids. Okay, and next we're going to use this brown shade over here. But I guess the more I listen to Stray Kids, I realized that Felix is such a precious little human being. Him enjoying baking was like a huge like Oh my god, like you're so cute moment for me. He just grew me a lot, so I switched from Hyunjin to Felix. However, I'm now back to Hyunjin after going to their concert. So you kind of want to apply this shade on the outer edges of the eye until the middle portion of the eyeball. And also when you apply this shade, make sure you're kind of putting it at an angle, like lifting the edges just a little bit like that because I want the eye to look more cat eye. Everything will be lifted. For the eyeliner, you need three different kinds. So first one is a liquid eyeliner and then a black gel eyeliner and also lastly a brown gel eyeliner. So they all have different purpose. So let's first start with the liquid eyeliner. I use this to fill the waterline. The liquid eyeliner that I'll be using is from Cleo. Make sure you fill all of your waterline. The reason why I like to use liquid eyeliner for waterline is because the pencil tend to smudge throughout the day even though they are waterproof, liquid just works better for waterline. And before you draw the eyeliner wing, you're just going to use a darkest shade of the eyeshadow palette and we're going to use this to outline the eyeliner wing first. So this is a method that a lot of K-pop makeup artists actually use because it just makes your life so much easier. For example, if you were to mess up, you can just simply smudge with your hand like that rather than having to grab like a makeup remover. And obviously, we want to go for a lifted eye look. Once you draw that, you want to just fix the wing a little bit. My eyelid, I'm not sure if it's considered a complete hooded eye, but it's a little hooded. So we're going to draw a triangle shape. I don't know if you guys can see the triangle right now. There's that top point right over there and then the sides like that. So I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, this wing is so long. But trust the process. Trust. Okay, so from here, it's all about the blending game, guys. We're going to first blend with this color over here. Just on the outer edges. So this one that I'm using is from Nova Beauty. We're basically going to overline where we drew the liquid eyeliner. So kind of like adding a blending effect for this one too. And for the corner of the eye, make sure you are opening it up a little bit to make it look more cat eye. Kind of like that. So this is with the cat eye effect versus this one is without. I'm also going to add this glitter on the inner one third of the eye. Still using the same brown pencil eyeliner. We're going to also outline the lower eyelid with this one. So just outline where your eyelashes are, starting from in. Before we work on the lower eyelid, I just want to conceal all the dark circle and make it just really flat looking because we're not going to draw the egg yolk style and I have pretty puffy egg yolk style so I just want to make it look more flat and cover all the dark circle and everything. We're going to use this soft matte concealer. This is something that I use almost in all my videos. So I said in the last video, use a round brush for, for this type of concealer. I'm going to cover up everything. So once everything is concealed, we're going to start applying eyeshadow on the lower eyelid. So I'm going to first start by using this eyeshadow palette. It's from Rare Beauty. I want to add more of a red color on the lower eyelid because that's what Felix's eyes look like in the picture. So I'm going to use this shade over there. Then I'm 
going to use a bigger brush, still going in with the same color. I'm going to really just try to connect the upper eyelid, putting it all over the outer corner of the lower eyelid and also the upper eyelid. And then just going back to the Fashion Nova eye palette, we're going to use this shade over here. We're basically going to open up the lower eyelid by drawing a straight line out like that. And then use a brush, same shade, we're going to blend that out. I actually forgot to do this step, which is so dumb. I forgot to draw the eyeliner! So it's drawn with the eyeshadow, but I forgot to outline it with the pencil eyeliner. So this is the black shade, also from Fashion Nova. Next, we're going to work on the mascara. For the eyelashes, we just have to brush it nicely. Nothing too crazy, I'm not applying any falsies and we're not clumping it, so it's not as time consuming. I'm also going to do the same for the bottom eyelashes. I had to move because my camera was dying, but we don't have too much to go. We're done with the eyes, just have to do the brows and the lips. And of course contour and hair. I guess we have a little bit left. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am not in my usual setup right now. I'm currently in LA. As you guys kind of know because I went to the LA Street Kids concert. But yeah, LA have been amazing. I've been eating really well and hanging out with so many people. My social battery is down to zero right now. Oh yeah guys, but I'm going to Coachella. Freaking insane. For contouring, we're going to use the Benefit Hula. So this is more like a girl crush makeup. So contouring is quite important because you want to look as sharp as possible. So really kind of emphasizing on the nose ridge right over there. Also gonna work on the jawline. For the lips, I'm going to use this product from M Cosmetics, it's in Shade Manifest. So this is a base shade, it has a lot of orange hue, but I want my lips to look a little more warm toned, so I'm adding that warmth to the lips. Felix's lips are kind of wide sideways, I'm just stretching it out on the outer corner like that. I know it's still a little pale right now, that's fine because we're going to add additional color on top. This one is the one that I'll use after. This brand is actually made by Twice and La Seraphim makeup artist. I'm going to add it on the inner corner. Kind of like that. And then blend it out. Okay, now we're going to shape the lips. We're going to go back to the Fashion Nova eye palette and use the darkest shade over there and just add this on the bottom portion. Try to blend it out a little bit so the line is not too harsh. Kind of like that, you can see how it's like kind of darker on the inner portion right there. And now we're going to use a thin angled brush, still using the same color. We're going to draw a line on the corner like that. Same thing on the other side. For the concert pick, I did draw freckles just to make it look more like Felix, but I'm not gonna do it today. It's definitely optional. If you feel like you wanna do it, do it. But if you don't, then don't do it. Okay, so since we are done with the makeup, let's work on the hair. So I actually don't have my own hair product here because I'm just staying over at my grandparents' place in LA. These are my grandma's products. <laughs> All you need is a hairspray and a styling liquid. So first, you want to just wet your hair a little bit. So I just have a cup of water right next to me right now. I know this is the ratchet way, but you can use like a hairspray. I think if you use that, that's probably much better. Okay, so once it's starting to look a little messy like that, we're going to add the styling liquid. I think this one is low-key a very old product. <laughs> it's basically like liquid. So just kind of like how you put shampoo on your hair. So put it all over. The 
you want to just style it as how you want the hair to look eventually and then you're going to add a little bit of the hairspray to just fix the hair in position you want it to be honestly i think using a hair mousse is much easier but i don't have a hair mousse okay guys so we are done with today's look thank you for watching this makeup is just a perfect makeup for concerts festivals or if you feel like you want to seduce the girls girl crush makeup perfect for it so make sure you give it a try i'll see you guys in my next video then